and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Okay, so this is, I guess, technically a DCP story time, celebrity encounters kind of story. Um, working in the parks for basically four years, counting Disneyland and Disney World, I definitely got the chance to meet a lot of different people. Let me preface this by saying the, the big thing with Disney is that celebrities are just guests. They're not, you know, your favorite actor or your favorite actress or whoever. They're just another person who wanted to come to a theme park and you may recognize them, but you don't treat them any differently. But that doesn't mean that you don't still have some really cool encounters. And like, I've met a lot of different celebrities and I've like seen a lot of people in passing, but there are definitely a few that stand out. Let me talk about, okay, um, we'll talk about my last one that I had um, right before I moved to Disneyland. So it was still when I was at Disney World and um, I was working in Launch Bay. Day we opened, it was great. Neil Patrick Harris and his family were in the park. Um, he was hosting Candlelight Processional. And I was thinking, I was like, wow, like how cool would it be if, you know, him and his family came through, yada, yada, yada. Well, um, the uh, ops person that we were, that, that was working with us was letting people, uh, was bringing people to the exit and being like, oh, okay, we well, you know it was like make a wish or things like that. And she said, hey, you've got a party of seven at the exit. I said, okay, so I opened the door and I was literally just thinking, you know, how cool would it be if it were Neil Patrick Harris? Like, it's NPH. I open the door and as I'm talking, the words are coming out of my mouth and I'm saying, hey guys, you guys are gonna come in right after this family, so hang on for me for just a second. Who do I make eye contact with? None other than NPH himself. You know, it was great, held me cool, family comes in, it's like his daughter, I mean his kids are so cute, and his daughter didn't want to meet Darth Vader, so you know, I had a card in my pocket, and I was like, hey, you know, you have to meet, you have to meet Lord Vader if you want to get this present that I have for you, and she was like, okay. So she goes to meet him, and then she didn't want to take a family photo, and I was like, I can't give you your present if you don't take a family photo. And she goes up there, she goes up there, she takes a family photo, and I give one to her and one to her brother. And I stand up and Neil looks at me, he's like, thank you. And I'm like, thank you, have a nice day. And I was like, you too, have a nice day. And he like leaves, and then I had my minor freak out moment. Like all of us in the room were just like, oh my god, we just met Neil Patrick Harris, that was totally awesome. And it was great, he was a really nice guy, his family was cute, I mean, they were sweet, it was great. Like, A plus celebrity encounter. Um, let me see, let me, let me reference my list. I had to make a list on my phone. Um, my other one, um, at Disney World. Th this one is just funny. I mean, we didn't really have a conversation, um, but it's like a, it's a crossover because I also worked at Universal Orlando in Diagon Alley. And I, op I opened Diagon. And we had a lot of people come through. And Richard Gere happened to come through with Boz Lerman, who I love. Boz Lerman's one of my favorite directors. I want to work with him one day. He's great. Well, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. It was Boz Lerman. And everybody was like, oh, well, did you did you see Richard Gere? He was he was with him. And I was like, wait, really? I'm like looking around trying to find him. Can't find Richard Gere anywhere. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess maybe I just missed him. Flash forward to like two months later, I'm at Hollywood Studios. I'm working. Uh, working with Buzz and Woody, I, I think it was. And I was the inside attendant, my other uh, outside attendant, the one at the exit comes in, he's like, hey, you know, we've got VIP at the door, you know, the, the, the tour guide wants to get them in and out. I was like, okay, that's totally fine. We get them in, blah, 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 they go through, and I'm trying to figure out who's this, like, big celebrity that they need to get through to, like, not cause a, a, a ruckus or whatever. And so I, like, leaned out the door, and I was like, hey, who, uh, who, was, the, who was the VIP? And he was like, oh, Richard Gere. So, uh, moral of that story is that apparently Richard Gere looks completely different than he does on film. L I just didn't recognize him in two different theme parks, so there's that. Um, at Disneyland, uh, 
<laughs> I had two that were both, uh, bless them both. So my first one, I was loading a, a, a cabin at Star Tours and uh, the first person I put in, I recognized. I didn't think anything of it. I thought that maybe he was another CP or like another cast member that maybe I knew him that way. And so I'm staring at him, trying to figure out where I know him from. And then it hits me. It's the, it's the little mean kid from the Little Rascals. Uh, Blake McIver Ewing. And I was staring at him. And I think he thought that maybe I, th I realized that, oh, well, you know, this guy's an actor. When really I thought that I knew him because I thought we were on the college program together. And I had a, I ended up seeing him later on. I think, it, I, it turns out I think he's um, an annual pass holder. But I ended up seeing him later on at Cove Bar and I was like, ah, oh, okay. Like, that's cool. Sorry that I stared at you uncomfortably, but I really did think that I know you. Uh, and then my second, uh, my second story at Disneyland. Again, we're not, we don't, we're not supposed to freak out when we see them. Like, they're normal people. But I was, um, I was in Star Wars Launch Bay out in Disneyland. And, uh, I see this guy. And I was like, I swear, I think that's Corbin Blue. But I can't tell. And I mean, it's dark in there, so I was just kind of like, casually staring, trying to figure out who he was. And I opened, um, like he walked past me because they were going up the exit to go meet Kylo. And I realized that it was him. And we made eye contact. We made eye contact for like 0.2 seconds too long. And knee jerk reaction, my hand comes up, and you can't really see it, but my hand comes up to like my boob. And I just kind of went. And it was the most uncomfortable thing. Thank goodness it was dark in there because I'm beat red. I'm beat red. He's cracking up because, you know, I just awkward boob waved at someone. Like, who, who does that? Like, I've never done that before. And, you know, they go in, I get bumped to exit, and I'm standing out there and they, they, come, they, they leave and it's just the tour guide and his fiance or wife, or I don't know if they were married at the time or if they were just um, fiance, but and he walks out and I was like, I just kind of started cracking up and I was like, have a nice day. And he looks at me and he cracks up and he just kind of goes, you too. And like walks away and I was like, can my legacy not be that I awkward boob waved at Corbin Blue? That would just be A+. plus. I also um, am a salty grandma. You know, I'm, I'm old and I'm tired and I'm just very salty. And I watch General Hospital. It's one of my favorite shows. Ask pretty much anybody and they'll tell you that I am obsessed and I want to be on the show or work for the show. Either one is fine just so long as I'm like involved. And I got to meet two of the actresses when I was in Disneyland. Um, I met Rebecca Herbst who plays Herbst, Herbst, however you pronounce her last name, who plays um, Liz and I met Emmy Ryland who plays Lulu. And um, <laughs> Pretending that I did know who Rebecca was was so hard. I talked to her and her family for like five minutes. They're all adorable. It was great. And then I was doing I was doing Jedi Training Academy and I, you know, talked to Emmy and I was like internally freaking out. How I didn't like show it on my face, I'll never know. But I was like, oh my god. I love these people. So those are those are my Disneyland freakouts. But you know, even though this is my DCP celebrity encounter story time. I would be remiss if I didn't point out the fact that I did open Diagon Alley and I did get to meet, you know, the Harry Potter people. And Ivana Lynch, let me tell you, is as sweet as you would think she is. She has that like breathy voice and she's so sweet. And I'm currently on her Instagram. You can find it if you scroll back far enough. I'm on her Instagram teaching her how to do wand magic. My voice and everything. <sighs> is great. Uh, and the second one, uh, Alan Gilmore, who is the art director for the films and also for the Wizarding World at the different parks. Um, I, ra I ran into him like three or four times uh, throughout like the course of working in Diagon, especially like the first year that we opened. Obviously he was there the week um, like leading up to us opening, which was media preview week. And um, he was there like prior to that, just in the parks. But my favorite encounter, cause he and I had talked and you know, you know, talked to him about the films or whatever. Um, cause he was, he was a genuinely nice guy. And we were sitting there, we're like, I'm, I was working a special event 
for just some random company and I see him and this other guy come in and I was like wait a second this isn't hold on and I like walked up to him and I said are you crashing someone else's event and he says to me mouthful of food he's like yeah he was like I brought someone to look around and I realized you guys are having an event and I thought well I'm not paying for it might as well have some free food it was one of the funniest things I have ever seen because we're just chit-chatting while he's crashing someone else's event and it was perfect and wonderful and I obviously like it's Disney Disneyland Disney World Universal like their theme parks they're great people want to come visit them and you're gonna see people all the time and I, it's awesome I mean I can tell you I've, I've had not so good encounters I've had great ones but like it's definitely an interesting experience when when you get to meet these people especially the ones who turn out to be absolutely wonderful and I'm grateful to the ones who are great because it makes me feel you know like they're th not everybody's terrible when you're when you're famous and <sighs> those are just a couple of my favorites and I wanted to you know I wanted to talk about them and and definitely I'm excited for this go around to see if there's anybody new that I can add to my list. I originally kept a list on my original program of like people that I ran into or saw or dealt with and like like I said I met random people. I, I sat JJ Abrams when I worked at the Grand Floridian. Um, I, you know, I saw um, Kelly Ripa and her husband. I, I it's just, There's a lot. It's a list. Uh, but it was great. Um, but yeah, that's my DCP story time celebrity encounters. If there's anything you want to see um, or you want me to talk about, let me know. Like I said, I, you know, I did it for four years, so I know a bit. I don't know everything, but I know a lot. So if there's anything you want to see or you want me to talk about or make a video about, let me know and I'll do my best to do it. Uh, well, thanks for sitting through this um long video because this is another long one <laughs> i thought this was going to be short but it's not um but like subscribe comment down below leave me a comment um turn on that notification bell so you know when i upload goal uh is to start uploading twice a week wednesdays and saturdays uh and right now you know i'm hoping that i'm doing well but like i said leave me a comment down below let me know if there's anything you think i need to, to work on or change or or if you just want to say hello, let's be friends. You know, hit me up on any of my social media. I like to talk, so, you know, comment on my Instagrams, leave me a tweet, whatever. Let's start a conversation about anything. I really don't care. Like I said, I just like to talk. I'll see you on the next one, and uh, have a great day.